When we say diabetes, we usually mean diabetes mellitus, which means high blood glucose level. The most important characteristic of diabetes is high blood glucose level, which is usually more than 126 mg per deciliter during fasting. It's fasting glucose level. Diabetes affects more than 10% of world population. It means it's extremely common disease. And if left untreated, diabetes have serious consequences and complications include blindness, kidney problems, which is called diabetic nephropathy, and neuropathy. Also, diabetes increases risk of heart attack stroke and other serious diseases type 1 diabetes affects young population less than 20 years and type 2 diabetes affects usually older population more than 45 that main difference is first main difference is age uh, second main difference is mechanism of action what is mechanism of action type 1 diabetes our body is not producing enough insulin that's the mechanism of action why uh, don't produce enough insulin because our immune system mistakenly attack beta cells on pancreas and destroys destroys pancreatic cells which are responsible producing insulin so it's autoimmune disease type 1 diabetes is autoimmune, autoimmune disease because our own body attacks pancreas beta cells and destroys them so we have no insulin or we have not enough insulin these both cases are type 1 diabetes in case of type to diabetes body have insulin but our body does not respond properly on insulin that's the difference and it is called insulin resistance if we want to imagine better we can say uh, analogy and it will be for example in case of type 1 diabetes we have no key we want to enter into room and the door is closed and we have no key so we can't enter into uh, into room that's the analogy of what uh, this person is glucose glucose can't enter into cells without insulin so we have no insulin we can't enter into cell so glucose has no insulin and can't enter into cell because key at this case is insulin and no key no insulin so it's easy we have no key that's type 1 diabetes and what is type 2 diabetes in this case we have key but this door is rusty and difficult to open and we need to try several keys to open this door because door is rusty and old and does not respond properly on our key and we need to change different types of keys now let's say why is diabetes so important why should pay attention it to what 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 will happen if if we left untreated in case of type 1 diabetes person's lifespan will be 30 to 40 years not more that's why it shortens life lifespan and this person will die if we if we left untreated that's why intervention is important in type 1 diabetes and what will happen in case of type 2 diabetes if we left untreated it can reduce lifespan by 15 years sometimes less sometimes more but around 15 years that's why it's important also third difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes is 
obesity. Usually type 2 diabetes is associated with obesity or overweight while type 1 diabetes is not correlated with uh, obesity. Person can be slim, person can be almost any weight. Uh, but in case of type 2 diabetes, it's strongly correlated with obesity. If we say what is three most important uh, things which can say about diabetes, we can say these three. First, high blood glucose level. And this glucose level elevated constantly. Second, insulin insensitivity or lack of insulin. So we have insulin, insulin resistance or lack of insulin. First is type 2 diabetes, second is type 1 diabetes. And chronic organ damage. They can damage elevated glucose level, can damage um, different types of organs. Because glucose, elevated glucose, acts as a poison for our body. Now let's say about symptoms. What is the classical symptoms of diabetes? It's frequent urination, first hunger this three is dominant frequent urination hunger and thirst fatigue and blood vision also occurs and if we ask is the symptom same in case of type 1 and type 2 diabetes yes they are same but in case of type 1 diabetes these symptoms occur abruptly and the symptoms develop fast in case of type 2 diabetes, the symptom develops slowly and progressive. If we left untreated, what will happen? Weight loss, because our body can't utilize glucose anymore, and person, weight loss. Slow wood healing happens because blood vessels are damaged, and if there is wound, it's difficult to heal because no blood, uh, no uh, sufficient blood supply, no sufficient nutrient and immune cell supply, that's why slow healing of wounds. And tingling in the feet and hands happens because nerves are damaged. It is called diabetic neuropathy. And diagnosis, what is diagnosis? Diagnosis is fasting blood sugar level more than 126 milligram deciliter oral glucose tolerance test more than more or equals 200 milligram deciliter uh, hba1c level which means uh, glycolated hemoglobin should be more than more or equal than 6.5 percent it's also part of diagnosis of um, diabetes and random blood sugar level more than or equal to 100 of course with symptoms now let's say treatment in case of type 1 diabetes treatment always insulin therapy insulin therapy with injection or artificial pancreas in case of type 2 diabetes, lifestyle changing and oral medications and sometimes insulin also is needed. Metformin is first line treatment usually. It can reduce blood glucose level by 15 to 30 percent. It's important. Sulfonylurea is also GLP-1 receptor agonist or insulin if needed. They are second line treatment weight loss is important even 5 to 10 percent of weight loss can improve blood sugar level importantly that's why it's so important of course diet diet with whole grain and uh, and less sugars less simple sugars and more fibers also so um, and physical activity. Physical activity should be 30 minutes per day at least. For example, 30 minutes walking per day at least. 
that's all I wanted to say and um, I would add about gestational diabetes its type of diabetes and not one or two is another type of diabetes which develops during pregnancy and uh, symptoms and uh, this diabetes with resolve after childbirth this gestational diabetes but gestational di diabetes can be sign of problem of insulin resistance and eventually it, it can develop as a type 2 diabetes that's why it still requires attention thank you very much thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you might like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now